Hello everyone and welcome to this new Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the explicit weight. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that what are the synchronization issues and how we can solve them using the synonym weights. And we learned that how to implement the implicit weight, right? And in this particular tutorial, if we want to learn the explicit weight, we need to compare between both implicit and explicit weight so that you can better develop the understanding of the explicit weight so let me go to my presentation here and let me run this one from here right so uh, if we talk about the scope so basically the implicit weight is a global weight and it applies to the all the elements whereas the explicit weight is specific to a particular field and when we talk about the implicit weight it waits for the element presence in the DOM, whereas explicit weight works for based on the specific condition, for example, presence, visibility, and so on. And when we talk about the syntax, the syntax for the implicit weight is pretty much similar and easier as compared to the explicit weight, because in the explicit weight we need to provide the expected conditions. So that, that's why it's a bit complex in syntax. So when we talk about the control, so we have a less control over the waiting behavior because we define it on the driver level and it's global. Whereas we have more control over the waiting logic in the explicit weight because we are giving the specific conditions. And when we talk about readability, so the implicit weight is less readable, unclear because we don't know what the implicit is waiting for whereas when we talk about the explicit weight it is more readable because we we define the waiting conditions we know that why the why we are waiting right so so that's the difference now what we need to do is that we need to understand the syntax of explicit weight before we implement this practically okay so when we talk about the explicit weight so first thing we need to do is that we need to create a web driver weight object and for that we need to import the support.ui from the web driver weight then we will be creating a web driver weight object passing the driver and timeout to that and then after that we need to use the expected conditions and for that we need to import the single web driver dot support import expected conditions as easy so as easy is nothing this is the alias we are using here and then we need to give a condition like here in this example we are saying that presence of the element located then it's by id it's by xpath it can be anything right so this is the syntax and this is how we should use it now let's see it practically by implementing it and let me go to PyCharm here and this was our previous example regarding the implicit weight and here we see that we have defined it once and the syntax is very easy here now let me create one new python file i will name it as explicit weight and what i will do is that i will copy the same line of code and paste it here so uh, we need to import the relevant things first here and i will remove this line of code here okay and in our previous example we learned that the issue is basically we were unable to find this element because of the synchronization issue right so now uh, let's import the relevant things here so from Selenium dot web driver dot support dot wait and then we need to import web driver wait. This is the one thing and second thing is expected conditions. So from Selenium dot web driver dot support then from here we need 
to import expected conditions and we will be using alias as ec okay now once you have done this thing now what we need to do is that we know that the problem is with the logout right so we need to wait for the logout to be present so what i'll do is that uh, before this line of code i will create one variable and the name of variable is element and then web driver wait and we need to pass driver because this is object and i'm giving a timeout of 10 seconds and now i need to tell that how long you need to wait okay so simply i will say until the condition is met okay so in this one so i will say ec dot so you see that we have a different methods here element to be clickable presence of the element located visibility of the element located text to be present in the element so we have different you know methods available or functions available here now simply uh, let me go with the presence of element located and here um i will say that i need to go with the x bar okay so for this one i will say by by dot x bar and i need to provide the x bar here so simply let me go to this website here okay we don't need to go to the website we we have already this x bar here let me copy this one from here and i need to paste it here okay so once uh, we have this x path now what i need to do is that i need to click on this engine okay? so instead of this whole complete line what i will say element dot click and that's it so basically um how it works is that this is a time so it's just like a loop it will keep checking the condition and this is a maximum time it will try to check for this condition to met if it's get met it will execute else it will throw error so it's it's work like a loop right so let me show you on the senior website here as well so senior.dev go to the documentations here and go to the web driver and here click on weights and here you will see that explicit weights are loops added to the code that pull the application for a specific condition to evaluate as true before it exits the loop and can use the next command in the code right so it will keep checking it will keep checking and this is the maximum time so you can also use lambda lambda is a new way of writing definitions it's a fancy way of writing things you can also write in this way and you can also use the expected conditions here right so if you click on this one so you might find some example but i believe uh, right now no examples available here so let me click on this so here uh, you see that we have this public class expected conditions and using this class we will be using different methods like alert is present right element selection state to be right element to be clickable right so you see that we have a different methods available here in order to work with this particular weight now uh, let me go back to the jump here and we have implemented this weight and let me run this one and it should work fine because previously it was failing and we know that why it was failing because it takes some time to load the logout button and here we got some exception so let me see what happens here so if i go up here and 
element not interactable as shift element not interactable and which element is not interactable so let's see and debug this one so element not interactable and check in the response so no further information and so it's basically click element here is the problem the element dot click so let me see the web driver so basically wait until ec dot presence of element located then by dot expert and then the expert of this element and then we are clicking on the element so it should work if it's not working we will change the condition okay so again it's you know it's failing so let me change this condition here and i will say dot so element to be clickable and now let's run so this time you see that it worked properly right so we need to understand why it is failing what kind of first synchronization issue it is and based on that we will be selecting the condition here right so again uh, let me summarize this for you here simply uh you know we let me open the presentation here so basically we are creating a web driver object and then we're using executing pages class and we're using areas as easy and here we're giving the condition for this element until this condition is met and the maximum time we have given and based on that it will be loop and keep checking things and then unless the condition is met and true if it is true it will continue to the next code in your script else it will throw the exception and move on right so for example uh, just like you know condition was not meeting and there was some issue so we were seeing some exceptions here so that's how you can uh, work with the explicit weight in the selenium thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial